Hey everybody, it's Stacy with As A Tea Brews. Today I wanted to do an unboxing with you. This is the new summer seasonal tea box from Old Barrel Tea Company. Now I want to preface this with, um, with one thing. So I thought I had skipped this box. I went in um, the last couple years and I have skipped the spring and the summer boxes. Uh, I just don't tend to drink a lot of the teas that are more fruity or meant to be drunk as iced teas. And so I skipped those boxes on purpose. Um, I typically love the fall and winter blends better. Um, and I had gone in and I thought that I was able to skip both of those spring and summer boxes at one time and I set my ship date for the fall box, but apparently I did it wrong because I got a notification that this box was shipping and rather than contact them and say, you know, can you, um, turn it around, make sure I don't get it. Um, I just decided that I would go ahead and receive the box and see what I thought since I have not gotten a summer box from them. So. I already uh, broke up in the tape. <laughs> she, took, she took my shoe. So our puppy is trying to play with all of our shoes now. And so Abby is trying to corral her away from them. Um, okay, so here is the box when I open it. And they always have kind of a theme that they write some information about. Um, and they, oh, I guess you can see those T's there. <laughs> and they always have like a theme sticker. And then you get a token. So if you go in store, you can get 15% off any of your loose leaf tea. And they also have a code that you can use online if you wanna order online, if you are a tea club member. So, uh, okay, I'm going to show you the sticker. This box says, um, ha Old Barrel Tea Company, hashtag get loose leaf tea. <laughs> so they're kind of, you know, promoting drink loose leaf versus tea bags. So this is kind of a fun little sticker. And then they have kind of a description about their like their intention behind each box. So this one says summer invigorates the heart. And I'm not gonna read this whole thing because it's kind of long, um, but I'm just gonna kind of pick and choose from it here. It says, while we spend more evenings listening to the crickets with our feet on the soft grass, Mabel is learning how to use the bell, which indicates needing to go outside to use the bathroom. So sometimes she thinks that it's a toy, I think. Okay, maybe she's just playing. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, so it talks about spending evenings outside in the soft grass with a cup of iced tea in hand and feeling the sun's energy. It talks about how they hope they enjoy, help that we enjoy these blends in between drinks of sunshine um, we hope you close your eyes and let your face bathe in the warmth while your mind drifts into a radiant calmness. Um, let's see. And then it says summer is season to move, to connect with nature, to feel the joyfulness of community. It says, don't forget. Oh, we hope you spend the summer playing outside and keeping your body and mind loose, just like the tea you love to drink. So that's why I'm, gu I'm guessing that's where the, um, get loose, uh, little hashtag comes from. Don't forget to look up at the clouds or the treetops and feel small and full of gratitude as you connect to the energy of the season. So I love that, super cute. I love the intention behind it. I'm just not really an iced tea person, so I hope that I like some of these blends. They also include a little description about um, how to brew each tea and a little bit about each tea. <laughs> Mabel is feisty and sassy and she loves playing, especially with Winston. Violet doesn't really let her play with her at this moment. Um, Violet's not a big, she doesn't have a whole lot of like play energy like Winston does. So the two of Mabel and Winston get along pretty well most of the time, um, but she's a little spitfire and she is trying to get him to play right now. And it looks like he just wants to nap. I am just going to grab these teas and we'll check them out. So the first one, white peach, lavender, sage, lemonade. Now I have lavender, sage, lemonade, um, and I have white peach. The lavender, sage, lemonade, I made kind of a medicine ball tea using that tea. Actually, now that I think of it, I think white peach might've been in that blend also. I'll try to remember to link to that video um, below or up above here. Uh, but that was a really good tea to drink when you're not feeling well. I ended up drinking like three or four 
big mugs full of it and it was really, really good and it had honey and um, I think there was another tea in there, but uh, it was really good. And so uh, I might like these two blended together just alone. I haven't tried that combination. On their little paper here, it says steep five minutes and serve iced with mesquite honey. This peachy blend is juicy and herbaceous. Perfect for enjoying a hot summer day. It's the ultimate lunchtime refresher or picnic companion. Enjoy with friends as you watch the clouds dance across the sky. Okay, so I have not tried it iced. I've only done it hot with the honey and everything. Uh, so they didn't put drink it hot on here, but I think I might like it hot just based on that experience. Um, I don't know how many of these I'll end up drinking iced just because I don't drink a lot of iced tea, but we'll see. Okay, so that's a, um, a fun one to try and now violet wants on my lap the dogs usually leave me alone when i do these videos and they are just <laughs> they are feeling very needy today oh baby okay the next one tropical cinnamon sangria and i'm kind of laughing at this because i literally just used the rest of mine two days ago of this tea and um here i have a uh, another one and so i used the rest of my tea in um, infusing a wine cocktail, which ended up being really tasty. And hopefully I can get that video edited and uploaded soon. But I, when I made it, I thought, should I save some of this to drink it hot? Because I can't remember if I liked it hot or not. And here I have a whole nother tin of it. In a way, I guess I'm glad to have more of this so I can try it again hot. But in a way, I don't remember it being my absolute favorite tea. So now I have a whole nother tin of it to use up. Um, but let's see what it says about this one. It says to five minutes, serve iced with cotton honey or infuse into wine to make a sangria. And that's exactly what I did. This vacation inspired blend is tangy, decadent, and invigoratingly bright. Enjoy it as an alternative to sangria or to accompany your sangria recipe at your next patio or pool party. It is vibrant with hibiscus, shisandra berries, I don't really know what those are, and beet powder and slightly sweet with cinnamon and coconut. Okay, so I got more of that one. And it says to serve iced. I feel like I've tried it hot. I can't remember for sure. Okay, the next one is horchata. And this is one that I have not had before. So um, this is a rooibos. It says five minutes, serve hot with oak honey and a dash of cream. In the Southwest, horchata is a staple of outdoor gatherings. This decadent herbal treat is a healthy alternative to the classic rice milk beverage. And while it's a wholesome option for kids, it is also appeasing to a sweet tooth for anyone who wants to indulge but stay fit and healthy. It is decadent like abuela would make, but with a healthy twist. What, Violet? So I have had horchata cold, like traditional, um, long time ago as a teenager, and I, I liked it. Uh, so hopefully I will enjoy this tea as well. Um, this one will be fun to try. So I'm definitely glad to have that one. Okay. The next one is peppermint and lemongrass. Now I'm not sure actually if I have this blend, I know I have a couple things with lemongrass, but I can't remember if I have peppermint and lemongrass. Um, this one says to steep 10 minutes, serve hot or iced and unsweetened. This timeless and simple blend is one of our all-time favorites because it just makes you feel good. It is refreshing, calming, and invigorating all at once. It helps to combat inflammation, headaches, sinus problems, and upset stomach, but it is also a great daily immunity booster. This blend is also the ultimate hangover remedy. So I guess if you have too much sangria, this is good the next day. So um, that one, I will be trying hot as well. The next one I have not tried either. This one is orange cream popsicle. Okay, sorry about all the noisy dogs in the background, you guys. I swear, usually they are not so noisy. Um, okay, so this is an oolong, and it says to steep five minutes, serve iced with orange blossom honey and a dash of cream. This blend is earthy and creamy with a citrus decadence. While the flavor reminds us of racing down the pavement to catch the ice cream truck, the energizing oolong base of this blend gives us the energy to win the race. Drink to feel an energetic burst that reminds you of childhood summers. I feel like this might be good hot. What do you guys think? I feel like this would be good hot, um, but it says to serve it iced. So um, I'll probably try most of these hot first because I drink more hot tea. And now the last one I've not tried. Uh, well, I've tried 
part of this one, um, is prickly pear and jasmine. And I have tried a sample of their prickly pear tea and I have had jasmine tea, of course, um, but I have not tried them together. So this one says to steep four minutes, serve iced with a touch of salt, cedar, honey. The aroma of this blend is reminiscent of the wildflowers that line the Rio Grande. It reminds us of breezy afternoon bicycle rides along the river and is enchantingly layered with flavors that capture the spirit of the desert or the breeze through the trees. Drink to soothe your mind. Okay, I don't see why I couldn't just drink this one hot too. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments below if you have had any of these teas and if you drink them hot or iced um, or what would you try first. So I'm gonna go play with the dogs. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time, bye.